Well, in this film, I want to introduce you to some more advanced features of the tile script. Um, and this includes, uh, <coughs> you'll have to excuse me, I've got a cold as well at the moment. So that's why I'm feeling a bit croaky. But um, this is a system which allows you to map images into tile systems in a fairly sophisticated way. Uh, I should point out this this is an add-on to Calidus, which isn't in the the normal system. So if you are if you do want to do this, you'll have to inquire from us about the uh, licensing options. Um, if you just want to put a a tile with an image on it, you can still do that via the designer. That's still available. Uh, but if you want to use the imaging systems within Tile Script, it is an additional feature. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works in a very simple job here. Um, I've set up an uh, an Ashla or a brick brick bond type um, grid, which is actually a checkerboard, and I've applied two colours. So by the time we finish, we've got red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. That's it. Now the way that we apply images to the tiles is that, in a sense, we don't put an image on a tile. We put a colour on a tile. And then we tell Calidus that all the, for instance, red tiles should be mapped to a particular image. So in principle, what you do is you set up your grid and you set up colors on your grids and then you map the colors onto the grid. And although it sounds maybe a little bit convoluted, it does actually make it easier because it's, um, you can change, you know, if you've got seven different, for example, red tiles in the job, you can change them all in one hit just by telling them that red is now working on a different image. But let's just, um, I'll just show you how this works. So we've got color red and color blue. So that's set it up and we've applied colors to the tile. So the next thing we do is we use the paint command and then we put a folder name and a file name. And what you'll see is that nothing happens. Now that's because this is expecting to look into a folder called images and a file called one and then it will always work from a jpeg now the images folder must be a subfolder of the place where you've uh, saved your calidus file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come out of this press ok and what will happen now is i've got to save this file so i'm going to save it and in this case i'm going to save it to the desktop because on my desktop if I just have a quick look uh, I'm not sure whether you can see this but yeah on my desktop there is actually a folder called images and in that folder we've got two three they're only little images it doesn't really matter but we, I'm going to concentrate on this one one JPEG two JPEG so this is a folder images, which is actually a, a subfolder of my desktop, which is where I've saved the Calidus file. So now that this is actually saved to the desktop, when we go back in and have a look at that folder, images and right, what I've, I've missed off here is I need to say paint red with that images backslash one. And you see instantly all the red tiles are replaced with that image and then i can say i want to go paint blue images two and again if i look back in here here is the second image so this is image file called two and when i do that the blue tiles all get mapped with that image so now when i come out of that i'll just put a room in cover that with the product I've just created and again what you've got straight away is from tile script you've got a in this case it's a very simple grid but it could be a complex grid you apply two colors and then you map the colors to images and from that you get that effect and again I'd just like you to notice that you've got four lines of code there which create a checkerboard design map images onto it and you can play around with this you can say well I actually want a, a different stagger so again a very simple way of doing it with a few lines of code and you've got great flexibility now this is something which you could have easily done with the designer but I'm going to show you some other features of what you can do with this for very advanced type of design work where you can get very sophisticated photorealistic images of what the floor is going to look like 
uh, which should be extremely helpful when it comes to sort of presentations to your customer okay um, just one quick thing here this is the sort of file that if you print that off at a high resolution as a PDF for example or even as a bitmap image you can you can create very good image you could do a close-up of that and as you zoom in as mo the more detail you put into your bitmap the better it becomes um, I'll go into some of the details on the just a couple of points about the bitmaps themselves in a sense there's no point having um, very high quality images here because you've got to remember that what this is representing is a bit of carpet on the floor so however whatever quality image there is here you've probably only got eight threads per inch on the floor so if you over over represent it you won't get a a good representation of the floor the idea really is to create a bitmap in the first place which is as representative as possible of what your tile is going to look like on the floor and then when that's mapped that should all work out nicely but again if you put in just do a few things here do that in of course the images cut around inserts do whatever you need to do and when you get your color summary as usual the images are quantified as well so not only do you get your um, your graphical representation of the floor you also get the quantities and in this case I think no, they're not boxed up so they're just giving you a, a set of tiles but that's a quick introduction to how you put images onto tiles using tile script